I was just thinking about going on PriceCustoms.com and getting me some more of this. Get you a shirt, a hat, decals. Make sure you go to PriceCustoms.com and get you one today. Remember, PriceCustoms.com. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're excited today because we're going to get back on this beast on right here. On the Apache. And you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to set up some jack stands here, get that front end lifted up and move back over here. And the way it is right now, we can't get a jack under it. Let me show it. Yeah, it fell down. So we're going to have to use gym power. Yep, not <laughs> jack power, but gym yeah. power. <laughs> so we're going to get us some jack stands, set them up here. I'll move it by hand from there to here. I'll try. Anyway. We'll see. We'll attempt it. But, uh, so let's get started. We got a lot of work to do. All right, guys, well, we got our yellow jack stands here. Uh, can they see them? Yep. All right, those are to match Hunter's box. We've seen them on there for sale. So Hunter's gonna try to guide me here a little bit, aren't you? Yeah, let me get some gloves on here. Let me see if I can do this. Whenever I pick this up, I need you to pull those, the boards out from underneath there. Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> I didn't realize this thing's that heavy. Yeah. yeah. How long is that board? Oh gosh, we might use that six by six to go through there. I wouldn't. That's too much weight. Now we'll get a two by four, won't we? Yeah. I didn't realize it was that big. You know we got heat over here. How is that what would be lifted? I knew I felt like I bottomed out on something. Let's see now. You need help? No, I, I thought I had it, but then I bottomed out like there. There she goes. Wait. Or get something. Let her down. Easy. Oh no, it's on the floor. It's all right. I want to hold this up. Let's go ahead and put it up on this. What did, we, what did we get stuck yeah, it's on? It's on the PV blaster. You know, PV blaster usually helps, but not in this case. Here we go. <laughs> That's going to be enough. All right. Can we just make it out of the way? Now what I want you to do is slide that card on it. There is that structure part of it. Don't drop it. Right there. Right there. Stop right there. All right. Now we need to move that stuff. That spider is my favorite. Oh, it's also those metal brackets in the gas tank. Can you move them out of the way? Okay. Got to pop in here. That's barely on this end. I know. Make sure you can get it high enough. I can. That's how it's good. Pick it up. Yeah, this is good. All right. There it is. Wow. That was fun. I thought you said it was locked. No. <laughs> Now if I can get out of here. <laughs> now you gotta jump. But uh, what we need to do now is we need to move these bed parts so we can roll that thing forward. So let's get to dinner now. <laughs>
guys. Well, we're going to try it. We got this rigged up the best we can get it. I mean, there's look, no other way there, for us to. I mean, that. it just is what it is. It's an old rusty truck. We're going to lift it off the ground, put a new chassis under it. Yeah. I mean, you got a 59. We're going to move up to the end of the 90s into the what, late 90s? Like 95, I think, 96. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to get a new chassis under here. Hopefully today in this video, we can set this on, marry these two. Hopefully. Well, sit it on. Don't bother. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? We're not we, I don't need, we, gotta make, <laughs> we gotta make brackets and everything. Yeah, I mean, we, we're going to sit it on there and see where they line up so we can see what we need to do. I mean, because right now we, we'll just sit it back down on it, get the pressure off. That way we can move everything around and, uh, and see where we go from there. So let's get to it. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Just keep your hands on What? Just keep your hands on the front end. I was like, okay. Make sure it don't fall. Dude, our floor is so unlevel. You want to see good. Right there. It's about to come off the back stands. Almost, but they're about to fall. Okay, hang on. You get, get over here a second. I'm gonna hold it in place. All right, Hunter, come here. Here's what we gotta do. I got let it, let it swing back there. Okay, just let it do what it's gotta do. I'm gonna lift up. You're gonna grab some blocks and stack, and then put the jack stand on it. Okay. I'm mean, get the blocks over here between. I will. Well, I think one block. One block. Well, Jack's can fit on one block. I think this one might be wide enough. Okay, good. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Is that it? Side. You're gonna have to the side. 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 Okay, what we need to do is uh, get a vice grip, put that in the center and lock it where it won't slide this way no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how are we gonna do that? With, the light, with that ladder right here. Let me get, there's a vice grip on that table over there. On, it's on the part. We'll go back here and do that real quick. Now we can, now we can fix the front. Alright, I got it. Alright. Now do what we need to do to fix the front. I wish this would stay up to fix the whole issue if this was not tilt down. Yeah, that would. Are you something to try it and see? Try and take the jack stands out from under? I mean, didn't we do that on the last time? It, we had it just tilted. We didn't have it supported the whole time. Alright, well, we'll see when we go on that point. All right, I'm going to go back here. This first. is unparted territory. Now, we've done this once before. 
I'm saying to keep it with your chassis up underneath it. Yeah. guys well we got this thing up this high so far it looks like a monster truck now but it's pretty sketchy it's sketchy but we're what we're gonna have to do is get that chassis so far in here so, so we we'll can, have it up on that for now yeah and uh we're gonna have to get a battery chart the battery booster up here and everything get that winch and get it pulled in so far pop the tires off put it on car dolly you know the fun stuff there's a lot of work to this we, we still got to go up about eight eight more inches yep and then you have to pick up the front while wow, I'll use the winch to pull. It's going to be It's going to be fun. So, guys, make sure you stay along. Stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe. Go to PriceCustoms.com. Pick up your merch. Oh, yeah. Well, we got the winch hooked up. He's got to pull it out. That's very slow, ain't it? Yeah. I think I should just pull that thing on the end of it so I can just pull it out. That'd probably be the best thing to do. And I got my little hook over here to hold my controller. If you can get it pulled. We but we're gonna go hook up to that chassis over there and start pulling it in. All right guys, well we got this hooked up right here, ready to pull it in. Well, well there's a wreck going on over here. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll set you on a time lapse and get this thing pulled in. So, so let's get to let's work. Let's do it. we're gonna get these wheels off if you haven't noticed something new to the channel oh yeah we're trying to keep that secret but it is what it is but we got that new impact trying it the 12 bow it's a small little thing small thing but it works good yeah it's pretty powerful so we're gonna put the wheel dollies underneath this a pillar i mean the a lower a arm and hopefully, hopefully it lowers it a little bit it, I mean, it should have hair. I mean, we could try to lower it and see what it does right here. Yeah, right there. I think you need to go a little more that way. Right there? Yeah, let me sit this tripod down. Put it real easy, okay? And let me adjust the, the angle. All right, we can see right there. This jack is kind of tore up, so. If it does not go easy. See, it needs see. to go more over. See, that's what I'm push saying. Push it this way. Just push it all the right. It, I did it lower it, though. Still looks sitting the same. You know what I'm saying? Don't it? Yeah, but it'll be easier on that than the flat tires. Yeah. So we'll get this other side. I don't think it lowered it at all, but... Hopefully enough to get it... Um... <sighs> through here. Well, we got to go up eight more inches on that, so it might be all right. I can lift that rear end up. Here's the hard one. Have no room. Is that the right size? Mm -hmm. How about that? What was that? I don't know. Is that on the inside of there? Yeah. I don't know what it does. But... Yeah. Easy peasy. Now we just get that wheel off there. Slide that one under and we're ready to go. I like that little impact. And dude. I like those cornwheel sockets we got. Yeah, that was a good buy. That, that was probably one of the best things we got from that. Useful. Yeah, from that pawn shop. Yeah. 
Okay, we just have to do this. Don't take off down a hill. But... There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. I mean, it lowered it. It lowered it a little. So there we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let me get this jack out of the way. Then I'm gonna start pulling it again. even more onto just the jack itself like this far off the ground yeah to get it underneath here i mean i could have went up six more inches but that front is kind of sketchy it wants to just drop down so i'm gonna get up front with the controller and pull it in i want to see if we can get this thing wiggled under here Doing that same stuff again. So I gotta go up here and work on this and we'll get back with you in one second. Alright, well we got that dealt with. <laughs> it's like it never ending. You do you move a little, you gotta readjust. Yeah, it's fun though. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Hold up. Let me look. Alright, keep going slow. All right, keep going. Hold up, hold up. All right, keep going. This whole winch is made. All right, keep going. Hold on, Wayne. What was that? I think we just there. hit a rock. Keep going. I gotta readjust my baby. Yep. Ready? Yep. Are we gonna get up Keep going. I think we're clear right this second. Alright, let me move this rear into here. Alright. Are you good on your side? Yep. I got tons of ring over here. Ooh. What was that? It's that winch doing the same thing. On the other side of this side? Alright. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Dang it. What Let me get this rear end turned. Save. You want to help me move this real quick? Yeah. It's looking pretty good, guys. Up front, we just... Now we the jack stands are in the way. Should we? Uh, we'll get back with you guys when we figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see how this is gonna work. You ready? Yeah. Are you good? Is that 
centered. Let me get up front. Look, I've got to slide it over this way, I think. In the wheel well, I'm talking about. Uh, I'm probably going to go forward probably that much more. Uh. We might have to cut some of this chassis. Or no, the bumper might mount to it. Yeah. Okay, hang on a second. Hmm. You need to move that strap over to this left side and then pull it that way. No, I'll pull it the wrong way. All right, try pulling it. Is that pointing the wrong way you need it? Yep, go. Keep going. All right, you go over here and look at that wheel. That looks pretty good on my side. Okay. How's your side look? It looks, it looks like it's right here. Mine's right here, look. Yeah, that's where mine is. Okay. Oh, so well, that's good enough for now. You think we can, should just lower it? Well, we need to... Are we going to build up the... Like some blocks on this? Because we're going to have to cut some this of this. Thing. So I'm saying we're going to have to build blocks up. Yeah. To hold this. And just let it down on it for right now. Yeah. So, we have to cut this in our parts. But we figured we'd have to. We just had to see. Yeah, I mean, that's on the way to do it. We'll get some blocks right here. There's this point right here. So we're going to start blocking this up and then show you guys in a second. All right, guys. Well, we got it in here. We we still got to adjust it. It's day. looking pretty good, though. But, I mean, it, it's about to be a short bed, dude. Yeah. It excites me. But, uh we got it we got it under there dude that was a lot of work it's harder getting a chassis in, under it than getting the old one out yeah and i really did not think we'd make it this far so like uh, this early because we've been working on it for like three hours three to yeah three to i four thought hours. it would be like seven hours in to get to this point. yeah i mean it is a lot of work but what we're going to do is we're going to block it up because we're going to have to let's go up here and i'll show you watch out for this uh, it's a little mess in here yeah when you're doing this kind of stuff you need look at look how we got this set up now Imagine if it rode this high. You know, the bumper will go here. So we'll probably end up just having to get rid of these. Yeah, cut that off or something. But uh, look, come here and look right here. Let me turn, turn this fan, fan off, off real quick. We're, we're burning up. Dude. But it's loud. But look here. You can see right down in here, we're going to have to do some Notching modification on for on the, the side parts. But all in all, I mean, I think it's going to be pretty good. I wish we could... I just don't know how I don't much. know if we're too far back or what. We'll have to get it down. We'll have to do a lot of adjustments, measurements, it. all that kind of stuff. It's it's not this is this is the first step of getting it on that new chassis. And it kinda excites me. So it kinda we'll, also stresses me to figure out how low is this thing gonna be? Is the cab gonna hit the ground? Are we gonna build space? I got to build the mounting brackets up. I don't know. All kinds of the stuff. The lower the better. It's gotta be driving. If it's dragging, it's driving. No. <laughs> oh, that's rubbing and racing. Yeah. It. But um, I think we got to go like that a little. We Be careful. It it's on jack stands. Yeah, but if it fell, it just fall on the block. But so we got we got to we got to brace stuff where we're going to let it down on. We got to brace up the back still. Got to brace up the back. So let's get that. We'll let it all down and then we'll look at it. See what we got to do. All right, guys, we're going to let this back down. See what it's going to do. See where we got to adjust this truck. It's going to take both of us, so we'll throw you on a time lapse, and then we'll get back with you in a second. Well, we're at a good stopping point for the day because I got to go see my little, um, what would he be to me? My great nephew, nephew. Great nephew. Yeah. And we're excited about that. And newborn. So, you know, family guys, very important. So we're going to stop right here. We'll come back tomorrow. But step to the side. I want to show this. All right. See how low that's sitting. 
On the back. On the back is basically where it's going to be sitting, that high off the ground, which looks stinking amazing. That view uh, right there looks good. We got a lot of fabrication to do. A lot. This and we, and we saw work. like the brake lines over there. We're, We're going to have to remove them. It's all kinds of stuff, but it's going to be fun. Yeah, but it'll be fun, guys. We'll bring you along. This is going to be a fun build. It, it, it'll test us. Won't it? It'll yeah. test us. So, guys, we'll get back with you tomorrow. See ya. Well, we're back up here, guys, ready to jump back on this thing. We're excited today. We're going to do some chopping on this thing. Sorry about the fan noise, Sorry, but it's really yeah, hot. But it's so hot, we got the air on and the fans on because it is toasty. But, guys, I hate cutting stuff. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. I hate cutting this classic, beautiful rust, but we're going to have to to make it work on this chassis. Yeah, show them what we got to cut. We're going to have to cut up in those fenders to look, so to let down. This we got, area, up in this area. We're just area. going to cut up at probably four or five inches. And yeah. then we'll feel, we'll fix it if we need to. We'll build some. I we mean, might, we just might seal still. it off to make it look cool. I mean, we don't know yet. We That's don't know thing. yet. I mean, this is trial and error. Yeah, we'll probably go up five inches because it's got to drop. Quite a bit. Three or four inches. And yeah. we need a little clearance for, you know, you got to have a little bit of clearance. So, um, so I guess Hunter's going to jump in there and mark it. For yep. me. So I'm gonna jump on so in. Jump in there, Hunter. Hunter, he's sitting down here in the patch, he's taking it easy. Really he's very uncomfortable. Yeah. But he's marking this right here. Uh, right. I might have to go to the other side. So I can see what you're doing. Well there's no we're not taking any measurements. It's more just No, this is eyeball. You know whoever's ever seen Bad Chad um uh, on uh Discovery is that what it was on? He has YouTube too. Now he's on YouTube. Bad Chad. He he just cuts. Then he like he's good though. We're, we're not to that level yet, but <laughs> you know how you get there by doing it exactly. Because it don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little. And I'll dream big because I serve a big God. That's right. That looks pretty good to me. I think it looks great. I like, say close enough. Cartoon. You, cut this part. you know what tool we're going to use, guys? The body saw. The fun, loud, annoying saw. Then we all cut these real quick, guys. We'll probably do time lapse because that's so loud. Yeah, because it would like mess up the sound of the video. And then we got to we got to move this cab uh, forward. Forward. Yeah. Once I cut this, though. Because we can't get it down enough. Because honestly, when I cut it, it, it might go forward. At least it's hitting. Can you show them right here? Yeah, or here, I'll show them. It's hitting against the um, control yeah. arms Yeah. already, sitting on it. So we just, we're gonna cut quite a bit out and then we can fix it later. Yeah, let's do it. You know what they say, cut first, fix later. Yeah, cut first and if it don't work, say whoops. We'll fix it later. <laughs> we'll fix it later. <laughs> so it's good to cut. All right, guys, well, we had it pinched. So it pinched in there, so we had to lift it, put on jack stands. But look, safety first, guys. Gloves, glasses, earplugs. Safety first. So let's get back to this now we got on jack stands. Well, we got it cut out. Pretty good clearance, I think. What do you think? I, th I think we'll be good. I did wear my safety stuff, Amanda. Yep. Because my wife makes sure I'm being safe. Yeah, I mean, it's looking good. We got plenty of room now. So now you know we I just got to let grab the, what the fan. That fan. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to grab that and climb back in and grab that. Then we're gonna have to raise that back, back up, pull the cab this way a little bit. Probably about that far. Yeah. Probably about like that far. And then let it back down. See what, what if we done it. Hopefully we did. Guys, I mean, it's, someone told us on this one page that we follow, said, guys, quit trying to make, get an easy way out and changing a chassis. That's not and an I easy like, way. This is 
the furthest thing from an easy way. He said, you can get uh, components and change the front to disc brakes and stuff. I mean, that would be an easy way. But it was also a long bed and twisted chassis. And, and we, we wanted, wanted new newer suspension, suspension new short chassis, bed. short bed, all that stuff. So we went this route, which is, to us, we've never done and it. And the deal we got on this is unbelievable. So, I mean. Yeah, the price and all this we have is. I mean, truck and chassis, 900 bucks, can't beat it. Yeah, that's that's insane. And it's got a power steering on it yep. and everything. So you could not beat that price. I, I think altogether you have $1,200 so far. In, in this. the truck, yeah. So far. Count the bed. Yep. Isn't that so right? bed was yeah. 500 So was 14 $1,400. Yep. $1,400 so far. Not bad at all. We'll see where we get. I mean, we don't know yet. But, hey, it, it's good if we can put this back on the road, guys. Because most people would have looked at this truck and said this thing is just good enough for a know, lawn ornament lawn ornament or a junkyard you know scrapped yeah. or something but guys i'd rather bring it back wouldn't you i love this truck it's my dream truck and if we can bring it back get it back on the roads i mean it's going to be a it's going to be a job it's going to be a but guys when you do it it's going to be a process you got a story yeah <laughs> because i mean this thing i don't know how long it's off the road because uh, I'm not going 30 to 40 to 50 years off the road. Who knows? We don't know. Well, I think there's a tag on it. No, no that's there the wasn't. Ford. That's, that's the Ford. Ford. The yeah. Ford was off the road for since 85, I think. Yeah, so goodness, that's like four, you are joining years. this journey with us. Yeah, so I mean, it's the first time we've ever done anything like this. So, this is the biggest thing we've ever any, done. Any suggestions of what we should do? I know right now, if you look at this, I'd say right here's the center. Here, we need to go. Yeah, let's get this slot so they can see. Yeah, I'd say, see the hub? I'd say right here's center. We need to take the, that up about three inches. Yeah, and if you look at the motor mounts, uh, it's too far forward. Well, you know, yeah, so we need to most definitely come about three inches yep. this way. So what we're going to do is raise the back up a little bit, pull the chassis this, I mean the cab this way, and let her down slowly and get it where we can block it up in spots. We might have to do some more cutting if you look right here, guys. Yeah, that Look right area. there, we might have to cut some of that. Might have to cut some at that point right here. We just haven't figured it out yet, but this is the first step. I mean, this is the fun stuff, guys. This is what, when you're wanting to chop up a vehicle, this is how you do it. You know, it hurts me. <laughs> yeah. Woo. But I say, let's start letting this thing down. I'd say, let's do it. this winch get it out of the way because so we think we got the cab sitting about level yeah so go ahead and roll that rest back up okay all right and then uh we're going to have to get a jack underneath there and get the chassis up and try to get the wheels on which should bring it up to uh, right about the clearance we're thinking we're thinking we don't know for sure yet because we've never done this. No. But, but it's fun. We're close. I mean, we might have to do a little more snipping and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, but man, it looks like it's going to be pretty low. Yeah, it's going to be mean, a low. I not as low as. I like, mean, we don't need trucks. to be any lower. No. Because we don't want it but dragging. I mean, think that bumper goes on there? No, uh, we ought, we'll have to probably cut those things yeah. and redo bumper brackets, but that's yeah. no big deal. Yeah, we'll do that with a the, with the saw saw. Yeah. But, but these are awesome, dude. You can get these at uh, Royal King. I yep. think where this one come from. Nope, that one's from Harbor Freight. This one is from Harbor Freight? Yep. Yeah, you can't beat. Harbor Freight has everything. They have everything. But guys, uh, so we got it so far. Man, look at that, dude. Yeah, it looks good. Come look down this. Like, I am. Look it how looks low good. it's going to be. It's sitting pretty low. So I guess now all we got to do is get the jack over get here. Get the jack over here. And put some tires on.
Now we just gotta do the other side. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is the stuff you gotta do to make stuff work. We think, we just realized it ain't gonna work with that, so we chopped it off. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do, I might use it to mount the other one, so that's why I didn't take it all the way off flush. Yeah. Cause I might use some of it. So let's see, here we go. guys well this is not exactly what it's going to look like but because we it, don't want the camber it won't have that camber it's just we got to do a lot more cutting in here and we might have to notch the chassis and everything yeah we might have to notch the front of that chassis over here which the steering box is fine it where it mounts is behind where we need to cut we might have to cut that whole front piece off and refab something else uh. for the for the radiator mount it really needs it anyways I oh, know, but it's just, I yeah. don't like that. I mean, but it's fun. You gotta, you gotta live, you only live once. You might yep. as well have fun at it. But this is about the height. That uh, how low well it's gonna sit. So we don't know about what size wheels we should do. I think these are 15s, but these are some big wheels. I They're think they big were truck a, tires. On a truck or some big truck, four wheel drive truck. I'm thinking 17s with low profile tires. Or do 15s with thicker, a little thicker. thicker. A little thicker tire. But, Guys, comment down below. I still think the front has to go down. If you look at it, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, and but so, we just can't go anymore right now. Cause we gotta do some cutting and uh, and mock it. I mean, guys, this is a project. Just in this front end might take a a while. A, a while. So what we're gonna do is we'll probably get it on car dollies, get it over, so we can do a little bit of work at a time on this thing, and until uh, we can get this front end. We're gonna to try to get the front end sitting right before we go to the back. To the back. So, uh, and then then probably get all the chassis and everything up on jack stand so we can go underneath and figure out the motor, the body mounts, and that's gonna that be the hard stuff. part. And then getting it up safely. Yeah. What we're going to what I'm gonna do is I'll pro, we'll probably cut it enough where we can block up from from uh, <laughs> from chassis to cab where it's safe with ratchet straps and you know all the good tools duct tape and uh, and make sure that everything's held there then lift the whole chassis up and put it as high as we can on uh, not super high i mean you know, enough to get under there and do some work and find out how we're going to mount the body to the cha to the new chassis and then when we get done with that guys tackling this bed is going to be a whole nother beast if you come back here uh, just I mean, it might work out how it's made, and uh, but it looks pretty close. If not, we'll have to cheat it one way or the other. Yeah. Well, so we're not shortening the chassis. No, we're not doing none of that. We'll just do what, what we can. But guys, come back here and look up at it this way. I'm going to turn off this light. And you first. can about see how low. Just point it to the ground. I got to turn this off. Because you need the light. Point it to the ground. Show I mean, I can't because it'll glare on the lens. You can see, I mean, I don't know. It looks kind of like it's sitting level, but it looks like it needs to come down about a half inch in the front. I mean, it's sitting pretty good though. But that's as low, that's about as low as it's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, I like it. So it's gonna be a low rider. I mean, look at this, look. When do you ever see a truck where you're on, you know? Not much. We're, we're getting into low that low rider stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but we'll see. I mean, hopefully we're not getting in over our heads. If so, we might call some of you to come help us out. Because, man, Puddin right here, yeah. this guy right here, if we had him. If he's only if in he Tennessee. If he in Tennessee, we'd call him up because this is his This, this is, is his, his kind of stuff, yeah. But, guys, we're trying. We watch enough Puddin. We should realize how to do stuff, shouldn't we? We should. Yeah. But, guys, uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Guys, it don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little. And I'll drink big. Because I serve a big garden. Guys, make sure you go to PriceCustoms.com, get you a shirt, get you a hat, get you a decal, check out our merch, order today, and we'll get it to you as quick as possible. Yep. See so you later.